hospital. The hospital much like any other in appearance, but there is an uncanny chill to the white of the walls, and the clean cleanliness seemed deceptive. Feel as though if you ran a finger under any surface that you'd find clotted blood, festering out of sight and out of mind. Alright boys, we're in the hospital. Um, one thing I did though, I um, started a new playthrough and because I think I missed out on some some items, um, not, not necessarily big items, but I uh, just want to see if there's something else. And um, yeah, I basically did the uh, whole part again. And what I want to do is I want to maybe like uh, do one episode per per chapter. So we are now in the in the hospital here. Uh, this would be chapter two, and maybe the chapters are slightly longer, like like the the first one. Uh, this one was like uh, forty minutes, forty five minutes. But uh, thanks for all um, for watching and for for enjoying the the series so far. Um, I think it's a it's a great it's a great game so far. I really have uh, lots of fun with it. So this is basically my inventory right now. And uh, yeah, still need to figure out uh, how to sell these items. The treasure and so. What is this? Yikes. Oh, fucking AIDS, man. Yeah. Let's see. What up? What are those fucking creatures, man? Holy shit, man. <sighs> mountain painting. A painting of an icy mountain. It's a gorgeous, stylus, stylized piece with chromatic colors. It depicts an icy Antarctic visage with a mightily mountainous glacier in the center with a suggestion of an almost human expression. One moment it fills me with a sense of awe, the next with the sense that we impose upon natural phenomena our own insecurities and preoccupations, and I am left with a nagging feeling that perhaps nature itself has a motive or a mind we are not privy to. You regain part of your sanity, I like the sound of that, and I got chocolate. Cool, man. Cool. A syringe? A syringe of a strange shape, it is empty. Do I need that? Maybe like a it's like a quest item. What is this? Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is cool man, like kind of a laboratory here as well. Oh What? Oh, fuck it! It blocks you! What the fuck? How do I get rid of this shit? Wait a minute, I walked through this uh, acid thing here. I think this is not good. Why is this thing... Okay... Can I not... Come on then. Why can't I break this one? Okay, I can. But it isn't enough. What about this man here? Okay, so I have to do something with this. Not yet sure what. Um, let's just go here first. What to do with these with these things here? Is 
these like defensive mechanisms? I don't know. Fuck off. Immune to electricity. So these things, they basically thrive on electricity. Okay. A little bit like Ghostbusters here. A good movie, though, not the crap. The recent crap. What? But they're not that hard. Yeah, they're feeding off this thing, these things here. So I guess I have to destroy them. Shit. I have my Molotov pork kills and my dynamite. Okay. Need to remember that. Why is there still... Hmm. Alright, should I go in here? This is like a big laboratory, man. Chocolate, good. What if I destroy these machines first? What is this? Okay. Bloody dog, I have lots of keys. <laughs> I get even more. Something interesting, no. Maybe there will be something triggered if I kill all of them here. Make it a little bit more harder. Fucking these fucking AIDS pool, man. Look at this. Basically walk through every fucking eighth pool here. Okay. But still nothing here. I'm not really sure what to what to make out of it. Move on. Fuck. Man, the police shotgun is awesome. Uh do I got an iron like silver key? I have no iron key. Shit. I got a spine. Okay. And I want to sell some stuff, dude. Bloody luck. Yeah, open. What are those keys? How do I get more keys out of it? I want some iron keys, man. Oh, whoa! Fuck, I'm slowed. These areas are kind of big, man. What is this? Oh, this is a storage. Yeah, let me store some stuff here. The spine. Don't need that right now. Maybe I need it for later. I don't know. And the empty syringe. Essential souls. I store this shit as well. And this one as well. Molotov cocktail. Yeah, I have 10 here. So I think this is okay now. You feel safe. But this is like a like a also like a like a safe spot. I assume. Oh. Oh. This guy is shooting at me. Okay. Okay. Uh, antidote.
this? No! No! What? I no, I wanted to 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 get the 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 crate. Shit! Does he reappear? Maybe. Let's just check this door uh, room too quick. Certificate. A torn degree certificate in medieval metaphysics from Arkham University. Odd. How did this get here? The University of Arkham hereby awards Azenteth Wade Wade an honors degree in medieval metaphysics. Summa cum laude. Isn't it? Do I pronounce that correctly? <laughs> Shit, he didn't appear. Man, he I, I guess he was like kind of a vendor or so. Shit. Like the guy from before, maybe. Or at, at least he could gave us some useful stuff here. Shit. Bronze. Do I have some bronze key? Silver? I have an iron key, though. No. Okay, what is this? Iron. Yeah. Got chocolate. Got lots of chocolate this time. Very cool. Yeah, I guess we're basically halfway through here, or maybe like even three quarter. So I think this area is not as big as the mansion. Uh, let's check this one here. Rigid machine, labeled rigid machine, like reanimation. This is what's causing the dead to rise. Use empty syringe. Now what? Fill, filled syringe. Filled with reagent. The reagent gro glows slightly. Oh, I should use it on, on the on the cadaver, right? But let's not do this now. I will do this um, at the end. I want to check everything first. Radio. Turn it on. However, as Professor Pickering has noted, there are deep channels apparent in the moon's surface, strongly suggesting that water does or did flow on its surface and that the moon may, indeed, have an atmosphere. It is also important to note that half of the moon is perpetually facing away from the Earth and the scrutiny of our telescopes. The so-called dark side of the moon. It may well be that vegetation and even some forms of simple life exist on lunar surface and that we may one day be able to view them or even send radio signals to them. I'm sorry, the thought of life on the moon deeply unsettles me at the moment. To regain part of your sanity, yeah. <laughs> One thing I have to say, I mean, this, uh, these stories, oh, wait a minute, corpse? A body on a slab. The incisions at first appear surgical. They're on all the locations one would expect from an autopsy. Down the center of the chest and the ribs have been spread. As I look closer, however, I see teeth marks around the lungs and heart and nail indentations on the liver and spleen. It's as if whoever opened this cadaver lost control halfway through and started rending at the flesh. Yeah, one thing I've uh, one thing I have to say, I mean the whole lore um that uh, that is surrounding um HP Lovecraft, I mean it's it's just stunning. What what the imagination of, of this man here, man. It's it's Absolutely stunning. Zombie scientist. Hmm, this body's skull is intact. The other bodies had their brain pans open. Perhaps if I reanimated this one, it would be less violent and I could get some information. You syringe. The body twitched in convulsions and his eye opened. What happened here? Oh my, I swore I'd had it. It was Kilgareth. She injected it. Then she spent hours talking with it. And, the one, and then one day I came in and the lab was over. Run with the dead. Over run with the dead. It injected it? Listen, we do not have much time. Shortly after the vermin floods of November, a literature tutor, tutor from Miskatonic University in Arkham alerted us to sightings of bizarre objects in the rivers in Montpellier, Wintham and in Caledonia. Locals refer to them as Migo or Mountain Men, but they are outer ones, fungi from the deep space. We took the samples back here. Thankfully they were quite dead. Then that fool Dr. Kilgareth su suggested using the liquid from Project West on them for extra data. It's imperative I get through this door. Kilgareth might have vital information. <sighs> Very well. The numbers are 451. 
Grüß nach Parski. Dr. Kilgoreth so loves her little games. I'm feeling much better for that. Thank you. 451. You mustn't have been quite fresh enough. Oh! Okay. Okay, I got uh, everything I need. But let's uh, still check check everything here first. Before we leave this godforsaken place. <laughs> Fucking bloat here. Some enemies here. Man, I want a machine gun or something. Holy shit, like three, four ex- five exits here. Shit. Let's use the first one. <laughs> pair of glasses. There's a pair of glasses laying here with oddly colored, very thick lenses. I should try them on. Dude, I basically know that I shouldn't do that, but I'm just curious, man. Just curious. I should use some... Alright, I have nothing left. Shit. I think I'm not doing that hot, to be honest. Glass bottle. For some reason there's a glass bottle here with what looks like a tiny baby inside, floating in a preservation fluid. I should smash it. Examine it? Fuck. Uh, I should smash it? I threw it to the ground, but just after the smash, I could swear I heard the cry of a baby. Dude, I shouldn't just do anything with this, with these things here, man. I mean, it's like when you... Abomination? Fuck. Yeah, sure, man. Look at this. Oh, God. Is this an end boss here, or is it like I think it's like like a more like a stage boss, like a, like a intermediate boss? Evolved. Oh god. <laughs> Evolve this asshole. Oh god. Okay. Bloody key. Ubo Sathless Percupate. Um. Yeah. One thing though, if I now go into that thing, I cannot go back. Can I? Silver lock. To figure that out first. Shit things, man. Yeah, before I go in there, I just check everything. Whoa. What? What?
Alright, um, I muted. <laughs> I was muted because um, one of the keys here that I used for for muting the microphone was also key for the for the belt. Really sorry of that. Um, so yeah, um, I really have to note uh, that if I ever stepped into a portal, I cannot go back. So that means the lab coat and the lab lab um, key is basically gone. What I can try though is um to maybe like backtrack um, an earlier save. I don't know if that's possible. If if that is possible, then I will just include it after this segment here. But if I go to a portal, that means basically we are in a new chapter. And yeah, I really have to think on that. Um, yeah, I will end the session here. Um, it's a really cool gameplay. I really like the, like the game. I like the graphics. The atmosphere is absolutely stunning. The lore, the, the, the pieces, uh, the bits of pieces um, that we can gather from all these like manuscripts and, and, and statues and whatever, like journals. It's really cool, man. The atmosphere and lore is absolutely stunning. And thank you for all uh, for watching the first episode. Um, this was basically a huge success for me. Um, and um, of course, I will put out more episodes uh, when I can. So I will um, record now a few more episodes and then let's see from where this goes. And uh, yeah, I think we're next episode we will just feature the chapter 3, uh, the countryside Pogost. And uh, yeah, I hope I can include the thing with the, with the lap door as well because I think it's a little bit shitty to just not let you, or that the, the game not lets you go back, like like go back to the to the to the mansion or go back to the um, to the hospital. I think it's a little bit stupid. So we really have to you have to be wary not to uh, set foot into into one of those those portals. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see each other again really soon. Take care.